That's not really straight though, is it? <clears throat> Whatever. Hey there, friendlies. I'm up at the at the lake. Um, there's some brush here to be burnt, so I, I offered to do it for my mother-in-law. It has nothing to do with loving playing with fire. It has everything to do with helping. I, I, I believe in being helpful. While I'm up here, I'm finally going to have the opportunity to play with this thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use it as is for, for, this, for this episode. Um, as you guys know, after I got it, I said I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to use it and then I'll go all Wrangler Star on it. That'll be a two episode thing. This episode will be just using it as it came. So I will show you. Um, as you guys will remember, the vote as to whether or not to just let this handle wear or to strip it went very, very closely in favor of just leaving it by like one vote. Um, I don't know if I, I'm not sure if it's showing up, but like, see, it's, it's not a great factory edge on it at all. Like there's all kinds of, like in fact, it's not even really all that. Oh jeez, I hope you're getting this. It's not even um, even, you know? So I'm just gonna use it as it is. Um, I am pretty damn sure I'm not gonna love this edge, no matter what. Once I've done this, I'll give the edge some, some attention um, and we'll see where we can bring this ax. I hear that the steel is good enough that once you put some work into the edge, you're gonna have a fine ax. Let's check it out, shall we? So we're gonna start with some smaller stuff, um, see how it does and then move up to some larger chopping. Okay, let's get it started. It's important when you're chopping sort of on an angle, on, on, a, on a chopping block, to try to hit it right on the corner. Well, so far, I'm not expect I'm not exactly in love with this edge. This one's, this is, this piece is pretty dry. So let's see, let's see what we got here. Start with something small again. Okay, that was actually better than I was expecting. Best to get down on your knees. Hmm. Okay, I will, I will readily admit that I wasn't expecting it to, to be splitting this well. But this wood is old and dry. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> nope. Forget about it. Yeah, you see, it wasn't quite sharp enough to do well on the uh, on the chopping tasks, but on the splitting, rather nice. So, look, see how you see how the um, the fibers have sort of been crushed instead of sheared, um, especially down see down in here, 
Uh, that, that tells me that this blade is nowhere near sharp enough. I mean, you guys saw it was having to boom, boom, boom in order to, to chop. Um, I'm really happy about how well it splits though, and I think that might be because it's a really, you know, this is a blunt object, right? This isn't one of those elegant, like, gradual tapers. But you know, like there are no dings out of it. Some of that wood was really dry. Now, the only thing that worries me so somewhat is, do you see right in that corner there? Are you getting that? Bye tap right there where the the grind there's a little bit of discoloration at the at the uh, tip I'm wondering if that is a sign that yeah same here hold on you seeing it like right at the tip there there's a little bit of discoloration so what I'm worried about is uh, a ruined temper Jesus on this side too and on this yeah on all four like but I guess we'll find out. Um, I, I remember I did the uh, the file test on camera with you guys, I think, and it seemed fine. So I'll just, I'm gonna keep an eye on those corners. It's a really nice little size. Now, the thing about a double-edged ax, you guys have to know is that there's, there's a danger factor to these, right? Like when you're whapping and hacking, you gotta make sure, because there's an edge coming back at your face as well. Like if you pound yourself in the head with the pole of an ax, okay, that's gonna hurt, but if you pound yourself in the face with a blade, because you're like not paying attention while you, you know, while you chop, that can do some really serious damage. What I'm gonna do is get these edges improved, like, like made better, um, and I'll use it for a lot more. This is literally my first time taking it out of the uh, taking it out of the sheath um, with the intent to use it. So I'll let you guys know what I think long term. I'm especially interested to see what happens with these edges once I've sweetened them up a little bit. Shouldn't have done that. That was a fly. Anyways, keep in touch. And you'll know what I think about it after a, uh, a season's worth of use. It's really small. I mean, it's it's tiny. The thing is, this is the only axe made by this company. Um, okay, it's right side up. This is the only axe made by this company, right? Uh, more Mercantile, or More Maker. Two names, same company. Uh, it's a family-run knife-making company. Um, and they make knives sort of in the old school, like the case idiom, you know? Uh, and this is the only axe they make, and because it's the only axe they make, it's listed on their website, if you wanna go check it out, if, uh, it's listed under um, specialty knives. And it is, I believe, $55 US, direct from moremaker.com. I got the, uh, <laughs> I beat the, um, I beat the sheath up a bit by accident here, but that's okay, because I don't like my bush stuff to remain pristine for long. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll oil it up, or maybe put some Auburn Office or something on it. Yeah, I think so. The sheath is okay. It's 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 perfectly serviceable. It's it's nice. It's a really old school design, right? Anyways, this was not a sponsored video. They didn't give me anything. They didn't even know about me until I sent them a couple of questions about the axe, uh, which reminds me, it's a cast steel axe, which I guess is how they got the um, that maker's mark so beautifully stamped in. Well, or maybe not stamped. So it's a cast steel. Um, it's very small. And I'm looking forward to seeing how well it works long term. So, as I always say, if you guys like what I'm doing, then please get the conversation started down below. This week, I would like to know do you have a double-edged axe? Do you like tiny, tiny saddle cruiser style axes or do you like something a bit bigger for your general camp chores? Um, would you think of a double edge as a, as a camp hatchet? I don't know if I would. I still really want a full size, but I don't know if I would consider that a good camp hatchet, <clears throat> especially with um, a six-year-old running around. But what are your thoughts? Are you interested in the maker more at 55 bucks? Does that sound about right to you? Um, but, you know, cast steel, what's your opinion on that? 
Aside from that, share the video, helps me a lot. If you're not subscribed, then please subscribe. If you are subscribed, then hit the little bell and leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.